Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, let's try try this one, and in it we will end up using the top three rules of logs. Um, Okay, so, so when I'm presented with something like this, the first thing I do is I look at the base number to make sure it's the same all the way across, okay? Because if it's not, then you need to use the change of base formula here to make the bases all the same. Because you can see all of the rules of the logs um, assume that the base number is the same all the way across, okay? So that's how we manipulate them. So, so it's good. I see log base 10, log base 10, log base 10. So that's happy enough. Um, so then how do I, what do I do next? Okay, well next what I do is I consider these numbers in front of the logs, okay? Because as you can see, there's no numbers here in, in front of logs, okay? So I'd like to, I suppose, get rid of that number in the front, okay? So how do I do that? Well, I use the Q rule here. OK, you see when there's a number in front of the log, I can write it as log to the base A of X to the power of Q. OK, so that becomes a power. So in other words, this one would become log to the base 10 of 3 squared. This one's OK, it's in its simplest form. And then this one, again, the 2 would have to come up log to the base 10 of 5 squared. OK, so that looks good. And then I'm going to use these top two rules here. So the top one tells me that when I've got two indices that are added, I can multiply the numbers together. This one tells me when I've got two numbers that are divided, um, I, or sorry, subtracted, I can divide them, okay? Now you can see I have an addition and a subtraction. What you generally do in maths is you work from left to right, okay? So this one is going to become log to the base 10 of 3 cubed plus 16. And then I have minus, okay. And then log to the base 10 of 3 squared plus 16 over 5 squared. Okay, so that's generally the order we do it in. Um, and then I would resolve the other bit using my calculator. So nine by 16 over 25 is a decimal. And then I can use the log button in the calculator for this because that log button without a base. So that button on your calculator is log to the base 10. So I can just use that log button 7.56 and it's equal to 0 0.76. Okay. So just using these three rules to, to solve it using the rules of logs. If it didn't say the rules of logs, of course you could put that straight into the calculator and you should get 0 0.76. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies which uses cutting edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.